What's going on there folks? Good evening, Earthmaster here jumping in on this uh, Monday evening, 8.56 p.m., 6.14, uh, 2021 today, 6.14, 2021, that's right, Monday. Uh, looking at a little bit of earthquake activity striking the globe out there off the coast of Oregon. This is coming from a uh, 3.1 earthquake striking off just off the coast of Oregon. You can see on this uh, USGS map there. Uh, also down to the southeast there, we've seen a little bit of movement down along the Gorda Ridges once again. Nothing major, but still just uh, an obvious sign of some seismic increase taking place out here. Continuing, continuing on the west coast. You can see the action kicking up here along the coastal ranges once again in Northern California. Last time we've seen something like this, uh, we've seen increase in activity over here towards the Tahoe area. But right now, a couple small microquakes around the Makama Fault System. And of course, the geyser area has seen some activity as well. Uh, Southern California earthquake swarm still continuing, uh, dying down a little bit, according to the USGS, about 50, well, about 50 earthquakes or so within the Salt and Sea area. Uh, nothing significant at the moment, according to these folks. So um, you just, just got to roll with what they have on the map, right? Uh, Alaska has seen some movement up there throughout the um, subduction zone, the Pacific Plate. Uh, and also some movement over by Russia and the Japan area. No significant movement really to talk about as um, far as uh, global earthquake activity goes. Um, spot to watch, of course, around the Dominican Republic. Seen a little bit of movement there last night. That's continuing today. Uh, also some deeper movement inland uh, into the uh, Columbia area. 155 kilometers for this subduction zone quake. And also down here uh, near Ecuador, uh, 21 kilometers for that quake, but uh, this little pair of 4.5s are pretty interesting uh, considering the depth of those earthquakes there in that region. Uh, a pair of earthquakes here in the Chile area, or at least Peru Chile Trench, uh, looking kind of just kind of moderate for now. We'll see how things kick up though. Um, Oklahoma and also some areas around the New Madrid fault system seeing some movement. Check out this trio of earthquake activity over here. Hold on one second. Um, I do have a nephew here. <laughs> uh, around the Arkansas area, this is the region of the New Madrid Fault System. And uh, a couple small microquakes taking place uh, within the region. Nothing big, nothing to worry about at the moment, but it is something to watch and keep an eye on. This is, like I said, right smack dab in the New Madrid Fault System. Uh, fault hazard area, I should say. This area very capable of producing some sizable earthquakes up around 7 to 8 in the magnitude range. Uh, and that stuff is right smack dab there in that region for those small microquakes. But, uh, you know, it's not uncommon uh, to see earthquake activity in this region. Just kind of pointing that out. A couple small microquakes. Uh, also stretching over here to Oklahoma. Uh, Eastern Oklahoma getting in on the action again once around Quinton. I uh, did see some swarming there last week or the week before, I believe. And, of course, Pecos, Texas area uh, getting in on their action as well. Uh, a little bit of microquake movement uh, and a little earthquake way up here, way up, way, way, way up here on the eastern part by Canada. 2.6, way up, way up there. That's uh, way up there earthquake, no doubt. Um, but then again, like I said, uh, we do see earthquakes in regions where... Uh, they're just not all that common. They just pop up on occasion, and uh, today is one of those days. Uh, watching some movement down here around the Fiji Islands area as well. Seeing some significant deep movement there, almost 600 kilometers for that earthquake, uh, 4.3 at 595 kilometers. So, All right, folks, I think I'm going to call it night. Uh, I do have my nephew here for a couple days, so but I will be monitoring the earthquake activity. Yellowstone looks pretty quiet, folks, as far as trimmer map goes. We'll go ahead and check that real quick into, uh, well, <clears throat> into the coastal ranges. Actually, it looks like the valley areas of Oregon, around Eugene, um, Roseburg, Grants Pass area, uh, getting in on some trimmer movement way down below, folks, way down below the surface there of the Cascadia subduction zone. All right, folks, have a good night. Uh, we will be monitoring the activity out here. Stay safe, and we'll chat you another night. Peace out.